Hey y'all, welcome back. It's Leah and this video is a collab with Shannon from Shannon Talks Yarn here on YouTube and um, I think we're calling it the Chloe bag challenge. Um, so Shannon reached out to me like a month ago and asked if I would be interested in doing a challenge where we, okay, so the guidelines were we could only use one ball of the Yarn Bee Chloe yarn from Hobby Lobby um, in any like colorway that we chose. And then we had a $5 budget for um, only items from the Dollar Tree that um, it could either be like some more yarn or little like buttons or beads or something to accent the bag. Um, but that like we could only make the bag out of those guidelines so um I kept mine pretty simple because I did use three skeins of Dollar Tree yarn so that brought me to like 375 already so I just I didn't get anything else to go with it um but I'll go ahead and show well I'll show y'all the bag first and I'm realizing now that I kind of messed up <laughs> um, a little bit. I'll see if y'all can notice it. But I forget what, it's been a while since I made, actually made this bag. Like I made it pretty much the next day when Shannon asked me to be a part of this collab. Um, but she had a little bit of a difficult time finding some stuff at her Dollar Tree because her Dollar Tree is like an hour away. So, um, yeah, I've, I've been waiting on this for a, a little while. Um, so I don't know, wait, I've lost my train of thought. I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah. I was telling y'all about me messing up here. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. So this side is wider than this side, like significantly almost like double <laughs> the size of this side obviously I missed some stitches or something so I added some stitches somewhere I really don't know um yeah and you can really tell holding it up this side is off big time so I must have missed some stitches or something this okay yeah it's looking really wonky when I do it like <laughs> okay that looks a little better um, yeah, and it looks, yeah, I can really tell, especially, like, because this empty gap is, like, bigger than this one. So, I don't know. Obviously, I did something wrong. But, I actually like how the colors came out. I was a little weary. Um, I had this idea in my head of what it would look like, and it does look very similar to what I had in my head. Um, so I will go ahead and show you uh, the yarn that I used. Oh, and the tutorial that I followed will be in the description. I can't remember the name of it or who the creator is right off the bat, but I will definitely link it down below. So the Chloe yarn that I decided to use, I had quite a few different colors to choose from, but I settled on the color Denim and Sand. And this is some that I got at the clearance of it uh, back in June. And so it's just a different shades of blue. It's like a gradient. It goes from dark to light. And then there's like this cream color in between. And then another gradient with like this peach color. And... I used three skeins of this Premier Just Yarn. This one's in the color Petal. It's like a pale peach color. And then this one is Azure. I think that's how you say that. It's A-Z-U-R-E. Very pretty bright blue. And then the third one, I actually used up most of it, so I don't have it with me, but it was this same type of yarn in the color robin's egg it's like a really pale blue um like this pale blue right here and so basically what i did it was this whole bag is double stranded 
I used the Chloe yarn all throughout and then I alternated between the three Premier colors. So, um, whenever, let me make sure I get this right. Okay, yeah, so basically whenever the Chloe yarn got to a part where it was a blue shade, I alternated it or I double stranded it with this peach color. And then when it got to the peach parts or um, the cream color, I paired it with either, okay, so I used this blue, the azure, or however you say that, in the middle here. And then, um, well, <laughs> the middle, like the top and middle and bottom stripe. And then for the other two stripes, I used the, um, it was also the peach color and then the robin's egg blue. So, yeah, um, aside from the little goof up with this strap area, um, I do like this bag. I was expecting it to be larger. It looked larger in the video. And I'm not sure why mine looks so small. Because I followed the tutorial exactly. I used the same size um, hook and the same weight of yarn. So I'm, I think I did. I'm pretty sure. So I'm not really sure why mine turned out so small. Um, but it's okay. Uh, it's still usable even if it's a little wonky. It's practical. Um, I don't really know what I will use it for. Honestly, I may end up using this as a bag for when we bring in our vegetables from the garden. Once we pick them. Um, that'd be really cute for this so I may just end up doing that because my husband he's usually the one that like harvests the vegetables he's like really big into gardening and so and he's always like folding up rolling up his shirt you know with his vegetables all in his shirt so this would be a little easier for him so I may just do that um so yeah um, I'm really excited to see what Shannon comes up with, like, because she was kind of tell me a little bit about what she got at Dollar Tree. Obviously, she's, it's supposed to be a surprise, so she didn't tell me everything, but she kind of gave me little hints here and there. So, I'm really excited to see what she came up with. Um, but I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and thank you again, Shannon, for asking me to be a part of this. Um, so yeah, I hope y'all have a great day, and thanks for watching.